Hi, I'm Chad Hendrickson. I work here in the Gretsch Custom Shop in Corona, California. I'm here to talk about my NAM 2020 Duojet. This year, our, our wood buyer got a hold of some beautiful bestone walnut. So you can see it here on the top, also the bookmatch head cap. I, I also did a penguin this year, has the same top and the same head cap material. Uh, it's just a beautiful piece of wood. I knew as soon as I saw it, needed to make a guitar out of it. So on the duo jet, this one's a solid top. The penguin is our, our typical laminate top, and it's more vintage correct. Um, this one, it's the top's a little bit thicker in the middle. It is chambered throughout the sides, um, just kind of playing around with different ideas and seeing what kind of different sounds I can get out of it. So as soon as I saw the top, you know, it was just a giant chunk of wood. Uh, you could see the grain patterns in it and also the figure in it. And just the shape of the figure, I could just kind of envision how the figure kind of turns along with the top. It just was one of those pieces that was meant to be, it just needed to be made into a guitar. You can see some curly maple that's, it's actually part of the top. It's, it's not necessarily inlaid. When I thickness the top, I actually routed, uh, on the CNC machine anyway, routed that channel on both sides and then installed that maple and just sandwiched it all together. So it goes the full depth of the top and just glued everything together. And uh, back here where it meets the binding, it, things got a little interesting, but that's part of the fun. So up here in the shop, you know, we still do things the old style way. We still do the majority of our milling by hand. Everything is, is really detail oriented. And so what's fun about CNC is that, you know, you can design something like, like that on a CAD program and, and just, just be as creative as you want. There are some limitations obviously, but that's part of the fun in, in knowing those limitations and knowing when, okay, that's, you know, that's something I, that, that isn't possible or, or that's something that is possible. And so it, it just opens up this whole another world of, of ideas and creativity for me. So on this jet, We've got a V-stop tail tailpiece, uh, two pneumatic bridge, um, standard master volume control, like on all Gretches. Uh, it does have the 59 uh, uh, filter trons. These are actually power trons or the power tron plus in the bridge. But I do like a tone pot. I like the 55 style wiring with a tone pot, not a tone switch. Just my personal preference. Anybody can order it any way they want. Doesn't matter to us. We'll make it however you like it. Treble bleed on the master volume. Uh, it does have a no load tone pot. And uh, other than that, stock Goto tuners, American Standard frets, um, curly maple binding throughout, body and neck, head, head cap, everything. By far, the biggest challenge of this duo jet was, was getting the top and this, and this inlay work. Um, just because the, the, the size of the billet that I had to work for the top, I only had about an eighth of an inch clearance on each side from, from this point to the very rear point. And so having to map out this design on the top, we, everything had to be perfect. Uh, like I said, I had an eighth of an inch either way. Um, you know, in this world, that's not a whole lot. You just gotta, you just have to be very diligent in your measurements and make sure everything is right where you want it to be. And, and luckily, uh, everything, everything worked out. So I make the necks up here in the shop and, you know, basically they just start out as just rough milled neck blanks. And we use all these machines. I don't know if you can see them around here in the shop. If you've taken the tour, you've obviously seen them. Um, you know, all this stuff is, is done. We have handmade templates. Um, we use manual machines. Uh, that's part of the mojo that comes with a custom dredge. It's, it's very hands-on. It's very detail oriented. Uh, there's not a step in it where I just pass it off somewhere and say, yeah, I need that done. It's all done by us. And so the great thing about that is, is when a customer orders something a little bit off or a little bit different or you name it, we'll make it happen. It's because we're there every step of the way. We can, you know, if you have a, a specification on, on even the level of figure in your wood, We'll hunt it down, we'll, we'll make it, we'll make it however you want. 
and it's gonna turn out beautiful like all of them do. I just had a chance to play it about maybe an hour ago. Um, you know, we just got it assembled today. There's still a couple of pieces left to go on it. So it'll look a little bit different at the show and uh, you'll just have to show up at the show to, to see it. But yeah, this one, it's, it's, a little, uh, it's a little stronger sound, a little more direct sound uh, because there's not quite as much chambering in this guitar as our standard duo jets. The chambering on this body is not quite as deep as our standard bodies. And the top uh, in the middle, it's not quite a center block, but, but the top is a little bit thicker in the middle. Um, like I said, just playing around with, with different things and, and seeing what results, seeing, seeing how the sound or the tone changes. And, and that way in the future, we can, we can kind of narrow that down a little bit more. Yeah.